Hi Virgo, this is Mary Shea, my channel Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Virgo's out there, so I'm going to rise in Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Virgo's out there. Just one more time. All right. All right. That's the last reading for today. So, where goes? What is it that you need to hear from me? Your first card is this one. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. All right. You're working on something. Something very diligently. It could be some kind of a contract commitment. You're putting in the work. You want this to happen. Yeah. You want things to go your way. Okay, whatever you're hoping for. It could be a relationship situation. You, know? you want to have that commitment with this person. Or it could be a job situation itself. You want things to go your way. You want to sign a contract. You want to have a promotion. Whatever it is. You're working on it. You want this to happen. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or another Virgo person. Yes. Whatever you're working on will bring about so much abundance. When this happens, you will have so much happiness. Okay? I get the feeling there might be others who will be involved in your story. And I get the feeling there might have been disappointments previously because of the others. Multiple people involvement in your story. This could be a work situation as well. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. All right. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? Swords, there is a need for you to step up for what is it that you want. You need to be vocal about it. You need to fight for it. Yeah. You need to step up. Only then will you be able to see the light. Okay, this is also about um, new beginnings. Because there is a little child who is riding on the horse. And child is always about beginnings. A baby, okay? Not just a child. Uh, and sun is the most positive card in this deck. So for you to have things go in your favor, uh, you might need to do something about it. Even if it might seem a little out of character, even if it might seem like um, it's not you, I don't do this. That's not my thing. You might need to be a little different. Take a little different approach to make things right for you. People don't expect it from you. But then you got to do what you got to do. All right. Moving on. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? For me, this is a little bitch. You know, who would just say things without thinking but then i feel like you gotta do this you gotta step up to make things right you know you, you need to put things out there for people to see this is how things are okay with that sun card it's it's like you know putting the light into a situation for you to do that you need to be vocal about it right uh, as long as you don't have a mind reader around you, you got to be vocal about uh, what's going on with you. Yes, because I feel like you have been hurt previously because I picked up that energy earlier with regards to disappointments. You have been disappointed before. Because uh, three of swords, people might have betrayed you. People might have hurt you real bad. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Libra. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? This one. Six of Wands. 
in the center of your reading six of wands and the eight of cups this also speaks about you know both these cards if you look at it there is movement forward okay here people are cheering you on and up here you're walking away from something which is not serving you you know you're turning your back towards uh, from something okay you're turning your back from something which is not uh, worth it anymore which is not serving you anymore you're disappointed but whatever your decision is you know, uh, there is something about uh, integrity okay when I'm looking at the page of swords and the six of wands together there is something about integrity okay you, you need to do things in such a way that you do not fall um, or stoop down to the level of others if that makes sense you cannot stoop to their level whatever you do it has to be done very diligently okay very righteously there might be uh, you know some kind of a temptation that you know uh, you can screw them but if that is not your thing don't do it you will be disappointed but then always there is something about you uh, which you maintained and this is not the time for you to uh, let go of it if you understand what I'm trying to say if you had been righteous all this while this might not be the time to let that part of you, you know, go down the drain so you need to step up what they're trying, uh, trying to say is you need to step up but whatever you do you need to be very mindful that you do it right okay step up which is very important get things go in your favor but do not go and do something shitty which you will regret later It shouldn't be a chance given to others to point fingers at you at um, you know on a later date saying no nah, this person did that you know to get this that's not you okay so what they're trying to say is do what you got to do step up and that's it do your part whether things will go your way or not it is not for you to uh, wonder just do you okay and initiate initiate that tower it is important because I do see the Sun coming through so yeah and it's not going to be easy the path or the journey you're going to be on it's not going to be easy but there will be people who will be supporting you in this journey so yeah be ready for the hardships be ready for the struggle but from the ten of wands things will get promising eventually okay ten of wands it's going to be hard but if this is what you're aiming for, you will have that blessing eventually. Things will be happier later on. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. What goes on there? What is your last card, please? You need to stand your ground. And I will keep saying this. You need to put up a fight. Fair play. Okay. All right. What is your next card, please? Virgos. Just one. Queen of Pentacles. 
Be very grounded in your actions, how you take things forward. Okay, be very grounded, which is very important. Even when you are being the little bitch, you're standing up for your rights, for what you deserve, I will ask you to be mature about it. When I spoke about this is not your character, this is your character. Okay, this is not you. Or there is a need for you to be the little bitch here because you're not used to, you know, um, asking for things. So people don't expect it from you. But be mature about it and, you know, change tactics. Okay? Only then will that tower come into your life. Okay, only then can you shake things up in your world. When you step up for yourself, when you take things forward. Yeah, so be very mature and grounded about how you take things forward. Some of you might be dealing with a strong Sagittarius energy or a Capricorn energy. One last card for the world goes out there. I am tired. What goes out there? What is your last card, please? This one. Be very, um, when I spoke about being righteous, yes. <laughs> queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. You're very emotionally invested into this. Okay, whatever you're aiming for. When I showed you that Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, you want this so badly. Okay. You're very emotionally invested into wanting this to happen. But there is uh, a need for you to be very strategic about how you get things done. Okay. Queen of Swords is somebody who, who shouldn't be emotional. Okay. Who, who shouldn't let her heart, his or her heart, you know, overpower this person's judgment. So you have to think with your head. What is right for your own sake as well. For that, you need to be very grounded, think straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just don't try to make a decision when you are pissed. You know, when you have been betrayed. Yeah? It's it's not going to go in your favor. So you you need to be very relaxed, very calm, very composed, and it's it's like playing the chess. You need to understand the other person's move before you make your move. So it's, it needs to be very strategic. So you need to be very composed when you're playing. And if you're agitated and you make the move, you do not see what is coming your way. So you, you really need to play them while you are, you know, playing your game. Hmm? Yes, this is um, the Queen of Cups, uh, so that things will come your way. This is the merchant who's waiting for the ships to return. So if you are expecting something to come your way, you need to plan it out like the three queens here. Okay, but the, this queen uh, is off center. She... She shouldn't, that emotional side of you should not come into the picture. If she comes through, then uh, probably you might screw up. Okay, probably uh, your emotions will get the best of you. You will think a little too much and you will think from their side, all that. Okay, so just just think like these two points that's more than enough to get things going your way some of you might be dealing with an aries a gemini or a cancerian that's about it i wish you luck what goes out there this is marishi you're my channel to look at bye